Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today it's time to do a check on my most beautiful orchids, personally favorite, Miltoniopsis. And uh, also my Nelly Eilers, I have them in the same group. But uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, check them today. And also these uh, are my uh, most beautiful uh, ones, or my most favorite I should say. I love them all, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, the Miltoniopsis is something special for me. And February this year, believe it or not, was the first time I had one to rebloom. And I will show you some pictures. It was a, quite a spectacle, if you uh, if you ask me. A spectacle, I'm sorry. And uh, it was such such a beauty, this beautiful display. I'm really really happy, and I'm really happy uh, that they do uh, start to grow so well for me. But at least uh, that's what I think. So uh, let's check the reservoirs and have a look at the root system potting media and uh, yeah let's go from there and we'll see uh, what we uh, will find in in the pots so we start off with the uh, Hull Alexanders and I have two of them I divided them because the plant wasn't in a beautiful state so I'm recovering this uh, this one it has two new growths and I see quite a lot of new roots inside of the pot even over here in the syntax so I'm very happy this one is really working uh, on his recovery. You see quite a, a lot of new roots going down in the pot. That's a beautiful pH and around 100 parts per million. So uh, this one is doing well. I'm now going to check the small one. And this one is also making new roots. We have one there and a teeny tiny one here right above my finger. I don't know if you can see it. But at least we have some new roots. This one is uh, small. It is a uh, well, I had to cut off one bulb that was rotting in the back. So this is actually, well, two tiny bulbs with one new growth. That new growth is still working on the new roots, as, uh, as I can see. So uh, I think this one is doing uh, well as, as well. It's also a part of the same plant. I had it uh, planted in too much syntic, so it needed a repot and then it became uh, two plants. But uh, both of them are luckily doing uh, very well. And the second one, well actually the third one, I have listed as a red tie. I'm not completely sure, but look at the amount of roots in a pot. This one is doing so well. Beautiful, a lot of roots. And it's currently working on, I'm going to put it back so I can show you guys. Two new growths, one here and one here. And this one is now reaching the bottom of the pot. It has a little bit harmonica shaped leaves, not that much, but maybe because it couldn't reach um, the pot. But it, it, as you saw, the, this plant has a lot of roots, so I think it will be fine. This new growth is doing way better. So I think that, uh, like I said, it will be, uh, will be fine. Let me check. Yeah, no, it's only, uh, well only, it's making two beautiful new growths with a healthy root system. And it needed a little bit of calcium in the pot. So uh, it is good to go for another three months. It's doing fairly well. And this is one of my oldest Miltoniopsis and uh, currently the biggest one. And I counted it's working on five new growths. We have one here, one there, or at least five. One here, one here, there's already four. So, But as you can see, once again, a beautiful root system. I'm so happy with this. It's really, it feels very, very hard at pot, so it's probably really completely filled with roots. Beautiful, they are even coming out of, of the pot. And it's all since I do this, what I'm filming now, the measurements every three months, checking the reservoir, keeping them um, not too much PPM wise. This one was around 130 and it had a pH of 7.1, so it's doing beautiful. Absolutely stunning. This is. Uh, one of my Princess Dianas. Beautiful Miltoniopsis, and as, as I said, the biggest one currently. And the next one is my Newton Falls. Also a beautiful root system, but at least it, it's spotted in Sinting, the only one, but it has the most dead roots as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Ceramus. It's, it's growing and it's actually starting a new growth there as well. It's working on this one. Beautiful leaves. Healthy plant, nothing wrong with that. Measurements were okay as well, 7.5, and we have even more beautiful roots over here in the back. 
But yeah, it feels very hard and it's not, not my preferred uh, growing media. So I just wanted to try one out in Ceramus, but I will stick with the, with the small pumice and a little bit of Cintiq. Miltoniopsis love that. In my, uh, in my experience at least. Newton Falls, doing very well, so hopefully it will uh, start some uh, blooms uh, probably uh, the start of next year. And the next one is the Maui Mist. And this is a beautiful example of what we just uh, did talk about. This one is a small pumice with some Cintiq. And you can see this one has way more healthy roots than the previous one. A lot of roots, even roots coming from underneath the pot. I hope you can see them. So we have quite some uh, roots there as well. So yeah, this one is uh, is fairly doing well. It wasn't doing that great. It did bloom, it did bloom beautiful, but I had to recover it. But uh, it's working now on this beautiful new growth. Healthy bulbs there, and like I said, it did bloom. It suffered a little bit of spider mites. So if you see those marks on the leaves, probably spider mites. I have them uh, at least twice time per year on my Miltoniopsis, sadly. But for the rest, really doing great. Maui Mist. And this one I have listed as the Andy Easton. Also a recovery one. Recovering one as you can see, it's working now on a new growth. And I see that this new growth is making another new growth. <laughs> so I don't know. How, but it's also making new roots, and we have at least one here, and I think this one is alive as well. So we have some roots in the pot, not much, but I think this one will be okay. But as you probably know, Miltoniopsis uh, may take quite a while to recover, and this one is one of them. This one just needs more time, but uh, I think it will be back. Since I measure it, it, uh, it started to do uh, way better than before, so let's hope so. So this is my Miltoniopsis fenaliopsis and at a certain point it was making a flower spike but then it stopped growing the flower spike. I don't know why but it's okay, it's not that a big of a plant and let me get rid of that old leaf. But um, root wise it really is uh, doing well, it's a fairly new plant but uh, it seems to enjoy uh, enjoying life here. I wasn't convinced about the color of the rhizome of this one, but I thought, well, I'm going to put it up and we shall see, but... So yeah, it's growing, it's growing at least uh, fairly some roots, so who knows. But my uh, very small Miltoniopsis fenaliopsis. And this one I have listed as Eros Kingston. I'm not completely sure, but it looks uh, very similar, so officially it's a no idea. We do not have much roots in the back, a few here, but as you already saw, probably we have a little, lot of roots here in the front. Let me try to turn it. And we have also some browning roots. Some roots aren't alive anymore, but we still have a lot of alive roots. So this one is doing fairly well. And it's also working on two new growths on this bulb. So that's a good sign as well. One has beautiful leaves, one has a little bit struggled with the leaves. I'm not completely sure. Her immunity is, was very high this time, when this one was growing, so yeah, I'm not always sure why, but it's making a beautiful new root, so it should be fine in the end, and probably can take this one off, yes. So, another one that's doing fairly well, I think. So, this is another uh, Princess Diana, with two beautiful new growths, doing fairly well, I hope you can see this in this pot that it has completely filled up the pot with roots. Uh, sadly the reservoir is empty so I can ch cannot check it. And what happened is this water meter as you can see it uh, is saying that it was full with water. Well it isn't. So that happens with those things. I just wanted to film that so keep in mind if you start using them they can get stuck. And I thought this one was uh, heavily watered but it wasn't. Luckily it's not dry still damp so it's okay but uh, yeah I'm, I'm just very happy that I found this uh, in time but I need to uh, put this on, one on a whiteboard and check it tomorrow give it some water let it sit overnight and then I can do a proper pH reading but uh, for the rest a beautiful healthy plant and this is probably the smallest that I have this is my Miltonia Ruslii alba and I only see one root there growing and one on the side of the pot here. 
that isn't that beautiful of color. For the rest I don't see any roots in a pot. But it's working on a new growth and I think it did mature this bulb. So yeah, it's a very, very small plant, a very delicate plant. This is the only one that lives in my uh, greenhouse because it's, it likes a little bit higher temperatures as I could found care-wise and a little bit more uh, daylight. So I have it there, but yeah, it's hanging in there. Maybe I think it's doing better, slowly, slowly doing better. So, uh, but we keep it. It's a beautiful one to have. So, uh, and for the rest it had a, a pH of 7.3 and a parts per million of 180. So I did give this a flush because it's a fairly small plant. It doesn't need that much feed. But uh, yeah, hopefully it will grow uh, a bit next season. And this is my cream puff. This probably was my best bloomer uh, in the beginning of this year. What a show this one put up. Beautiful, beautiful. If I remember, I will uh, put a picture up because it was stunning. Really, really stunning. Those two growths that did bloom fairly long did uh, both may or do make a beautiful new growth. And have a look at those leaves. Those leaves are perfect, perfectly fine. Same conditions as the, as the rest. So sometimes it's maybe the plant it's not strong enough, or there was something it didn't like, or something like that. But that's it. And as you can see, this pot is filled with roots. Completely filled. Beautiful, beautiful. I really, really love this and it's working on a new set of uh, roots. I will put it, uh, keep it in this pot. They don't need a very big pot if the plant itself isn't that big. And the new growths are, are beautiful persistent, so they can uh, at least take another year. Probably even longer, but I will see what happens then. But uh, yeah, this one is beautiful. So nice to grow, very happy plant and a beautiful display of blooms this one can give. And here we have another a recovery one, but actually I think it's uh, back uh, to life. First of all we have a beautiful root system starting in a, in a pot. This was a last new growth that bloomed and this one is the newest, this beautiful bulb. So it did go from a half finished new growth that did put up a few small blooms to a beautiful new bulb and beautiful roots, beautiful moss as well. The only thing, yeah, is those leaves probably. Those should good, get a bit better, but I'm really happy with this bulb. It's very plump and especially where this plant is coming from. It was in such a bad condition like the other recovering ones. But yeah, beautiful root system. And once again, Cintiq and Pumice. I have a little layer of Lekka just to fill up the pot and the holes, but then I uh, put them in Cintiq and, uh, and Pumice. My preferred method, I really, really enjoy the roots and I think the plants do it as well, because I see quite some roots if I use that, that mixture together. So, uh, And I don't have a name for this one, I call this uh, Dark Purple and uh, Lila. <laughs> so, because of the colors of the blooms. But, uh, so yeah, I don't have an idea. If you recognize it, uh, please let me know, of course. But uh, a, uh, I think it's a, a it's a recovered Miltoniopsis, and we will see. I'm not currently I cannot see a spike on this one. It does did just mature, but a new growth will be uh, fantastic, of course, as well. And this is another one that uh, didn't do so well for me because I messed up. I, uh, but since I did measure, uh, started measuring my reservoirs again, it's starting to do way better. But yeah, it has uh, quite a way to come from. This is my Miltonia breathless, beautiful blooms as well. Working on new growth, uh, new roots there, new, uh, new growth. Yeah, for this one I can expect a little bit of uh, harmonica shaped leaves. But uh, we have some roots here, but this one is uh, going on the list. I want to repot this one because I want those old roots off. Fresh new media, and also then I can grab this all the bulb in the in the back. It's a bit moldy. It's starting to rot, so it needs to come off. And uh, I just want this uh, to give this a, a fresh new environment. So this one will be up uh, pretty soon on my channel as a repot, Miltonia breadless. But I think I'm uh, recovering this one. So fingers crossed. And then we have a fairly new one. I will, uh, if you don't forget, put a link up for the repotting and unboxing probably I did. I'm not completely sure, but I have it on my channel already. This is a fairly new one, beautiful one. 
I think it's the Breadless Florence and we call it also Skyfall because one of uh, my uh, Facebook friends and also subscriber did call this uh, Skyfall from Adele so I found it a very nice name but as you can see it does, does, it does very well beautiful beautiful new root system I had some uh, small LECA and um, lava rock lay around so that's what I used here but still I prefer uh, my pumice but, but, let me put it back. We have a sit situation. We just discussed it with another one. But as you can see, the leaves are a bit wrinkled. A bit of funny color. I see some dots there and then I re already know what is the problem. So I did grab this cotton, put some stuff on it and I hope you can see it. But you can see the residue, that orangey tint there. All kinds of uh, spots. So this... Uh, has spider mites the red ones of course so I have to uh, give again yeah take care of them it's very fairly easy but it's so annoying it is so annoying but yeah it needs a treatment so I will put it in a greenhouse and take care of it straight away because as soon as I see them I try to be on top of them because they are so annoying and they are so yeah, the plant has um, very difficult to uh, difficulty to to grow very well with uh, with spider mites on them, obviously. So I need to deal with it straight away. So while well, the other one is just sprayed, I'm going to uh, continue this uh, this checkup. This is my white angel as well. If you don't forget, I will put a, a link up. I did a uh, repot unboxing on these uh, these guys. One new growth here, one there, and one there. Beautiful, but look at the roots. It's really one old dead root here, but here's another one. New growth on that root, another new root. So yeah, this one is doing beautifully well as well. Once again, uh, I have this potted up in Cintiq, small lacca and lava rock, because I had it laying around and I want to use it uh, but that's that's any uh, that's all because I really really like pumice, small pumice. <laughs> so yeah, this one uh, had an pH of 7.3 and a uh, uh, parts per million of 131. So doing fine. It looks like this one is clean. So I am not going to spray it, but I'm going to keep a close eye on Meltonia abscesses if the other ones are doing getting the spider mites as well. But so far it looks good, luckily. So, and this is the other new one that I did get in the, the same order as the white uh, angel. And I have I had some help on the idea of this one, but I have it listed as Hygim Ono. And this one is uh, making roots there. It's a slightly bigger pot, but also a lot of roots here. So it's doing fairly fine. Uh, same situation with the, with the mixture, but look at the new growth. We have one, two, three, four here, five. Six, seven, and a little one here is is eight. Eight new growths. So that looks uh, looks very promising. And so far, the as I can see, the leaves are uh, clean, so no spider mites. Let's hope that stays like that. Yeah, it looks uh, fairly well. Beautiful plant, and I think I. Uh, Ended up with two in in one pot, or I did break it. I think I did break it, uh, not on purpose, but um, but yeah, it's doing uh, fairly well. So eight new growths. That's a lot. We shall see if it's uh, going to bring a beautiful display of blooms. So we are almost there. We now at the Nelly Islands. I have three of them. Them, <laughs> them. This is the first one. The red velvet, and there goes a pebble. Uh, a fairly new one, but as you can see, we have beautiful roots, beautiful roots, and this one did rebloom for me earlier this year. Some older ones, some dead ones, but a few, quite a few, beautiful ones. And did you notice this is the small pumice again? And I see a little bit of syntic in there, not much. So, a um, little bit of syntic I probably have in there, but anyhow. Small pumice, you guys. I keep saying it. It's just uh, it works so well, at least in my uh, my care. New growth here and another one here. So I'm very happy with it. Small plant, but it's will do fine. It's growing very well, 
and uh, so yeah somewhere next year I uh, probably late next year we might have some new blooms this because these guys are so slow to grow and then we have the next one this is my Swiss Beauty orange and I will show you the bloom because it has currently two spikes but before I do that once again a beautiful root system I'm happy with it especially for Nelly Eiler they can be quite hard to root at least in my experience so I'm just slowly putting it back I see a new growth there, I hope you can see it as well. A beautiful spike here and another beautiful spike here. Beautiful blooms, it is even, has even a branch here, I don't know if you can see it, but stunning. A bit overwhelming uh, at the moment because of the fragrance. Oh, and I do see even more new growths. One new growth here, a fairly big one, and a smaller one over there. That's already three new growths. So this one is uh, telling a story, I think, I think it, it likes it here. And if those currently blooming ones also start out at least making one new growth, I have five new growths. So this might be uh, ending up quite a quite big plant. Nelly Eiler Swiss Beauty Orange. And this is my oldest Nelly Eiler with the most not ple very pleasant uh, leaves. But yeah, I really had to learn how to grow them. But now I think I found a way because the one, this one again, you can see it has a pot filled with roots. Again, Cintiq and Pumice. And it has a new growth here. And it starts a new growth there on that bulb. I'm going to put it slowly back. And have a look because this one is also in bloom. So yeah, I see several new growths here and there. But one spike is here. This one, and then we have another one over here as well. Beautiful. Once again, overwhelming the fragrance. I will cut this piece off, I think. That one is hanging over the edge and try to uh, put it up again. I now have two bulbs and a new growth there. So it should be fine, but that's when this one is uh, done blooming. So that is my Nelly, Nelly Eiler Swiss Beauty. So, as usual, I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I really uh, was enjoying making uh, these. They cost a little bit of time to uh, get together, but uh, it's fine. And I will not do too much of them. I, I skip a few families of orchids because I have so many now on my uh, YouTube channel checking videos. That uh, Next time I will do another uh, family that I, we didn't cover this time. But uh, also, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I would really be happy to, uh, to answer them. And for now, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye!